It's concert day. Yo, yo, yo. It's concert day. Good morning, bro. Right. All right, mate. Yes, bro. Yes. So our girl Corinna has arrived, and uh, we've got sound check in about 45 minutes to an hour. We've packed up this little car full of trouble merch and some equipment, and we're going to carry the rest of it, man. So, yeah, do your best. Hey, why are you crying today? What's I'm wrong? Crying. Let me see. What's wrong? Wait, what? Show us your boo-boo. What's wrong? Oh, oh yeah. It's my, it's my guitar finger. You don't really see it on camera, do you? No, it makes you look... Uh, it looks... <laughs> oh, I look, I looks like much ado about nothing. Uh, actually, yeah. Oh, no, wow. it's... It's a big... Yeah, that's the perfect moment. Are you excited? What are you doing? I, I'm so excited. I'm printing out the GEMA list, so. Ah. <laughs> Our best friends. <laughs> yes, if you're not because familiar... It's all properly... Uh, if you're not familiar with what GEMA is, GEMA is the the copyright mafia. <laughs> Hi, GEMA. <laughs> We're not fighting at all, are we? GEMA is a a group a uh, that represents a collection society, and uh, basically, for songwriters, it, they go to venues and and radios and ask for money on behalf of people that have written songs that are being performed and in many cases and the especially the cases with radio tv and with late like labels and a lot of music industry stuff uh they do really good work but there are some times especially when you're an event organizer and you guys are involved and independent where they just create stress because ultimately the money is ours anyway uh and so we always ask like hey guys like you're just reaching into our pocket and taking a significant cut of uh, something just to get, turn around and give us the money back. So it's like a lot of bureaucracy and paperwork for, for nothing. In fact, it's just creates stress that we have to pay for. So thanks, Gamer. You guys are really helpful in that way. I don't support those mistakes, man. You're a troop of the world. Cologne are we right now? Ellenfeld. And what like was this formerly? Like it's uh, an area where all the factory workers were. And now there's like a lot of really cool industrial spaces <laughs> that have uh, been turned into performance venues, cafes, bars. It's a sweet little area. Serious, I can't. I'm gonna really. We need to do a, a cooking with flow episode. Yeah, you should. You should do that. With <laughs> All right. How many strings do you break on average? Uh, for what? Day? Week? 
Concert. Concert? Well, maximum is two. That was also here in Cologne, actually. Two, two strings yeah, in one concert. That, that, that was kind of. That was kind of great. One year ago. Um, usually, it's like depends on the quality, the strings, the way I play. I would say maybe one every concert or one every two concerts. So, yeah, so. That's why he has two guitars now. <laughs> Backstage now in our theater, and uh, we've uh, we've got a sold out audience, my friends. It's a, it's a packed room. I'm going to show you now, Mr. T, Mr. T. S. Steel, Mr. T. S. Steel from Pennsylvania, is on the stage right now, and the boy is playing rooms. Let's check him. Let's do it! Let's do it! Woo! <laughs> so ready, Cologne? Yes!